In this video, I want to show you how to get rid of the NA message that comes up sometimes when you do a VLOOKUP. Now, I have other videos that will show you how to do a VLOOKUP uh, in more detail. Uh, so let's take a look at this cell over here. It does have the VLOOKUP formula. And basically, um, it's saying that it's going to take the value in cell C2 and run it against this table. And uh, if I type in Baker here in cell C2, then notice how D2 has the first name for Baker. And that's what the VLOOKUP does. But let's type in Becker instead. Notice how Becker is not on the list. Now, Becker gives us the NA. NA means uh, not found. Now, the reason it gives you an NA is the following. When we look at the VLOOKUP, uh, it has the word false at the end there, which means it has to do an exact match. When it doesn't find an exact match, it gives you the NA, as we can see. So if I type in Baker, notice how Baker is in the list down here, and it gives us the first name for Baker. But if I type in Becker, which is not on the list, it gives us NA. So let's say your boss says, okay, well, I don't want this to say NA. I want it to say something uh, better. So you're going to click on that cell that has the NA. And we're going to use something that's called if error. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that cell, click on the formula, and I'll type in if error. And the if error is a function within itself, so it needs its own parentheses. Now I'm going to go to the end of the whole VLOOKUP and click there. And I'll type in comma. Now after the comma, you're going to type in what you want in quotes. So let's say I want to say not found. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to type in not found in quotes. It has to be in quotes because it's a piece of text. And usually in these kind of formulas, whenever you have text, the text is in quotes uh, in many cases. I'm going to close the parentheses now. So the whole thing says equals if error, open parentheses, and then we have the entire VLOOKUP that was there before. Then I have comma, open quotes, not found, close quotes, close parentheses. Let's see what happens now. Notice it doesn't say NA anymore. It says not found. If I type in Baker, then it has the first name for Baker. But if I type in Becker, it says not found. So what the if error does, it means if, if that function gives you an error of any kind, then put the word not found there instead. Now, why do these ones still say NA? Well, because you have to change those as well. So let's do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to come over here under the formula and I'll say if error. There's an open parentheses. At the end of the whole thing, I'll say comma, open quotes, not found close quotes, close parentheses. And we'll do the same thing over here. So I'm going to click on the formula. Right after the equal sign, I'll say if error. At the end, we'll say comma, open quotes, not found, close quotes, close parentheses. And we'll do it one more time for this VLOOKUP as well. If error comma, not found, close quotes, close parentheses. So now if I type in Baker, it'll find the appropriate information for Baker because that was in the list, right? But if I typed in something that's not on the list like Becker, then they all say not found because of the if error function. Uh, now, the if error function can be used for any kind of error, not just a, a VLOOKUP. That's just one example. So uh, let me show you another example. Uh, I'm going to cause an error to happen on purpose here. So I'll say uh, 23 and 45 and 56. And I'm going to add those together. So uh, I'll say equals this number divided by, let's say I picked the wrong cell accidentally. And here I have division by zero. Well, if I don't want that to say division by zero, then we can make it say something better. Uh, I'm going to click there, and I'll say, um, right after the equal sign, I'll say, if error, and then I'll say, comma, zero, close parentheses. So the if error can be used any time that you have an error of any kind, and replace that with what you want. 
Now it doesn't say division by zero anymore. It just says zero. Uh, cause it says I three divided by I seven, which is really this cell. Okay. So, um, here's how we can use the if error to replace an NA or to replace any kind of error that you might see in your Excel spreadsheet.